What's up, people? All right, so in a prior video, I talked about the focal length on the uh, fiber laser, but I never really explained how do you find the focal length for measuring. So the easiest way to do that is to go into EasyCAD 2, uh, make, make a square. You can make it, make it square, square. Uh, I did it 15 millimeters by 15 millimeters. Uh, you probably want to want to find that your focus in the center. So bring that to the center. We're going to do a hatch pattern, but we're only going to use one tool. We're not going to use the other tools. We only need one. So we're going to disable two. We're going to disable three. And we're just going to use one. Uh, we want it to continually burn. So we're going to do the zigzag pattern. Three mil spacing. Average distribute lines. Don't worry about the rest of this. And click OK. All right, so down here in the bottom, you have this box that says continuous, and that means it's just going to continue to mark this hatch pattern until you stop it with the escape button or you click the cancel button. We're going to use, we're not going to use the default. We're only going to go about 50% power. It doesn't have to be full power, we're just marking a square. Uh, frequency 35. And hopefully you've already adjusted your settings over here on your laser cutting off time uh, with the other video that I showed explaining that. So when you click the mark button, what you're going to do is you're going to turn the knob for the Z axis and you're going to raise and lower the scan head until you hear the laser start to burn the metal. And then when it's at its loudest and most intense, that's your focal length. That's where you're getting the most heat input and the smallest focal point on the, on the laser beam. So once you've done that, you want to do is find a reference on the outside bezel of the lens element. Remember, we don't want to touch the lens element itself because it has a coating on it. So what you're going to do is once you have found your, your prime focus, find a reference mark or make a re reference mark on the lens cap on the side and use that as your reference. And in this video, you'll hear the difference in the burning where I go past focal point, both too low and too high. And you kind of find the midpoint where it's burning the loudest and can hear it's the most aggressive. That's your prime focus. And that's where you want to be for deep engraving, uh, anything else. Now there's conditions, circumstances where you want to be slightly out of focus. If you're just doing color marking and you don't want to burn deep, um, then you would want to be out of focus either above or below and it won't have the same amount of heat input and it's a lot of trial and error uh, burning up a lot of scrap and trying to get the effect that you're trying to achieve and uh, yep that's how you find your prime focus for your fiber laser machine thanks for watching uh, comment below if you have any questions if you want to see something else let me know and I'll see what I can do bye